These are dark times, there is no denying. Tell me where he is. Our world has faced no greater threat than it does today. But you can't fight this war on your own, Mr. Porter. Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Now, this is the one that's quite divisive. This is the one across fans where people are like, I like that, I really like that movie, or they're like, eh, it's okay, or, you know, I didn't care for it, all that kind of stuff. Mainly because, for understandable reasons, it's very different. It's a different type of movie. You know, we're not at Hogwarts at all in this film. Um, we don't even see the castle. And it's... A movie that has like characters in different situations, different challenges, that they're not attacked anymore. You know, it used to be, well, yeah, Hogwarts, you know, it might get scary sometimes, but don't worry, everything's gonna be alright. This one, they're not. You know, and th this is why I quite enjoyed this film. I'm, I'm in the group, but I, I like this film because of that. How we have. Characters and our uh, characters in different situations, emotionally and physically. Um, they're facing death every day. You know, I, I quite enjoy that, and you know, and all the character stuff in there. I mean, for a good hour, it's not gonna be character, really. Yeah, the whole, you know, a plank with this film of it's just our characters walking in the, in the woods for an hour. I I kind of like it. Because you got kind of stuff like that scene between Harry, Harry and Ron, how Ron is, you know, fussed away that they can't find a Horcrux and how to destroy it and, and stuff of those lines. And it kind of folds the tension and you understand the ticking clock aspect of, of what these characters are going through. And, and you know, you have the, the wonderful scene of, of the Deathly Hallows. Of Hermione telling telling the audience and 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 Harry and Ron about the Deathly Hallows. So and it has it's beautiful animation and stuff in those lines. It's really well done, and of course the ending of the film, I I it's 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 it, it it turns to horror, to a trumpet, to like yay you you you're screaming for you you're cheering for our heroes, and then you get. Teary eye at the end with Dobby. Yeah, D like Dobby is the one that I am. I will. That's the death I have been. Te I, I teared up. That's the death I'm like. No, how can you kill Dobby? You know, like why? Why? You know, They're, it's all ruined and all that because they killed Dobby and all that. Um, but yeah, the whole aspect of like you know our characters are. In a base, in like a, a wine cellar, with Hermione at the top, and you know, and ha and Harry and Ron are hearing her screaming out of torture because Bellatrix is is like, you know, biting her, biting with her teeth and torturing, torturing her. You're like, that's the whole aspect of it. The treatment is Dobby showing up, and then the the the, the sadness is Dobby dying. And of course, at the beginning, you got the at the beginning, but you know, you got the um, the, the 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 chase scene. So you got a sense of attention. So the third act is well done, well placed. And this movie, I just I, I, I think it is. I like it because it's different. You know, um, that's probably the main reason. I like the character stuff. I like the third act. You know, awfully. Um, and and the first act is really really solid this is a it basically the people who don't like this film I do I do not know what the hell you're talking about you are me, Mr. Potter.